Aloha, my little pineapples. It's me, Miss Munoz, with this week's story. What do you do with a chance? Written by Kobe Yamada and illustrated by May Beesom. One day, I got a chance. It just seemed to show up. It acted like it knew me, as if it wanted something. I didn't know why it was here. What do you do with a chance? I wondered. It fluttered around me. It brushed up against me. It circled me as if it wanted me to grab it. I started to reach for it, but I was unsure and pulled back. And so it flew away. I thought about it a lot. I wished I had taken my chance. I realized I had wanted it, but I still didn't know if I had the courage. When another chance came around, I wasn't so sure, but I decided to try. I went to reach for it, but I missed it. Fell. I was so embarrassed. I felt foolish. It seemed like everyone was looking at me. I decided I never wanted to feel this way again. So after that, whenever a chance came along, I ignored it. And the more I ignored them, the less they came around. Until one day, I noticed that I hadn't seen a chance in quite a while. It was as if they had all disappeared. I started to worry. What if I don't get another chance? I know I acted like I didn't care, but the truth was, I did. I still wanted to take a chance, but I was afraid. And I wasn't sure if I would ever be brave enough. Then I thought, maybe I don't have to be brave all the time. Maybe I just need to be brave for a little while. At the right time, I realized it was up to me. I promised myself that if I ever got another chance, I wasn't going to hold back. If I got another chance, I was going to be ready. Then, one seemingly ordinary day, I saw something shiny, far off in the distance. Is it possible? I hoped. Could this be my chance? I had to find out. I ran as hard and as fast as, as I could toward it. I didn't know how to explain it. But the second I let go of my fears, I was full of excitement. It wasn't that I was no longer afraid, but now my excitement was bigger than my fear. As I got closer, I could see that this was a really huge chance. But, by, but this time I was ready. As it came by, I reached out and grabbed it and held onto it with all my might. It felt so good to soar, to fly, to be free. I now see that when I hold back, I miss out, 
and I don't want to miss out. There's just so much I want to see and do and discover. So, what do you do with the chance? You take it because it just might be the start of something incredible. The end. Okay friends, now it's time for those four questions. Question number one. Who are the characters in our story? Hmm, thinking rocks are up. Question number two. What is the setting of the story? Hmm, my thinking rocks back up. Question number three. What was the problem in our story? Hmm, thank you, Roxa. Question number four, final question, friends. How did the characters in the story solve the problem? Thinking rocks are up. I hope you enjoyed today's story. We will be uploading new stories every Monday, Wednesday, and Aloha Friday. From Teddy and I, Aloha!